Let's see here, we've got eggs, bacon, and cheese. I guess you can call this breakfast for dinner. Hey busy bees, it's Zhang, and today I'm gonna be sharing a classic pasta dish, the spaghetti carbonara. It's a silky, creamy pasta dish that's made with just eggs, bacon, and cheese, but it does take a little bit of technique. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we'll start by making our cheesy egg sauce mixture. I'm gonna crack three eggs into a bowl. Mix in about three quarters of a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I like buying a block of fresh Parmesan cheese like this. You can find this at any specialty store in the cheese section, but I just find that it has more flavor, it tastes fresher, and it just has that umami taste to it. You've probably heard that certain stores sell Parmesan cheese with like wood fillers, so this will totally eliminate any chances of that happening. And then I'll just grind in some black pepper about half a teaspoon's worth. And then we'll mix, mix, mix. This looks good. It might look a little bit lumpy, but later on, you guys will see the magic come together. And it's gonna make this silky, creamy, cheesy, eggy sauce. Oh. All right. So that's it for our cheesy egg sauce. I'm just gonna set this aside while I cook up the rest of the ingredients. Now in a large pan, I'm gonna cook up our bacon. But first, I'll add one teaspoon of butter just to give it extra flavor. I'll let it melt on medium-high heat, and then we'll add our bacon. I have four slices of bacon that I've chopped up into pretty large pieces because you wanna have a nice piece of bacon in every bite. I'll cook it up for a few minutes, and when it starts to get brown and crispy, I'll toss in three cloves of minced garlic and turn off the heat. So I'm adding the garlic at the end and turning off the heat so that it doesn't burn, but it'll still infuse our bacon and oil with that yummy, savory garlic flavor. Ah, oh, the bacon smell with the garlic is intoxicating. We're gonna take this guy off heat, and I'm gonna work on cooking our spaghetti. So in a large pot with boiling water, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of salt in here. This will help flavor our pasta and the water that we're gonna use later. Hey guys, while we wait for our water to boil, why don't you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Uh, I just released a Coca Van Blanc video that's a braised French chicken stew, and it's so savory and perfect for a cold day. So go ahead and check that video out as well. We're almost there, we're almost there. Once the water's rapidly boiling, I'll add half a package or about eight ounces of spaghetti and cook it for about 10 minutes just until it's al dente. In total, this will make about two servings, or three if you stretch it out. All right, let's test to see if our pasta's done. Mm. Almost there. So you can always test it like this, or you can throw it against the wall to see if it sticks. Have you guys ever done that before? I've always been curious. <laughs> I took the spaghetti off heat and now with my tongs, I'm gonna transfer the pasta directly into our pan with the bacon and garlic. And then we're gonna save the pasta water for later because we're gonna use it to make this creamy egg sauce. I'm only using five or six ingredients here, but the technique is where it's all at. It's incredibly easy to turn this pasta dish into scrambled eggs with pasta. And you definitely don't want that. This video is dedicated to my friend Lorena, who at a party, she told me she, she tried to make pasta carbonara like 10 times and each time she ended up with scrambled eggs. So the key here is to work swiftly. All right guys, let's watch the magic come together, shall we? Once the spaghetti is in the pot, I'll give it a quick mix and then I'll pour in our egg mixture. The hot pasta water will really help cook up the eggs and really melt the cheese, creating this silky, smooth, creamy egg cheese sauce. Exactly how a pasta carbonara should be. Look at this, look at the sauce. 
No scrambled eggs here. So this is ready to be served just like this, but I like to dress it up with a little bit more Parmesan cheese and freshly cracked pepper. And now we dig in. Buon appetito. incredible edible egg. It's amazing what you can do with eggs. I can't believe it created this super smooth and creamy sauce without using any cream at all. This is full of flavor. You really taste that garlic infused bacon in there along with the cheese. This is just like the most comforting yet easy to put together pasta dish. All right guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to mix, mix, mix. Bye!